So on the edge of the field where we don't have vegetation and whatever, this is what the farmers here faced when they, they did tillage and then irrigated. See how platy that is? And they irrigated and it would plate up like that and no water will run in there. And so they would, they would put on an inch of water in about 40 minutes. Now think of the difference, two inches in nine, one inch in 40, and still have 70% of the water ran off and went back to the river. So, or ran into the bottoms or whatever. And that's how Dakota Lakes got started actually was trying to stop we were doing an experiment trying to stop, figure out how to stop the water runoff. And after we had a field day, the conversation turned to, well, we need more research like this. And then it turned to, let's get the government to do it. And then somebody said, well, let's do it ourselves and see if the government will help. And that's where we ended up, was with this cooperative idea. But see the laminar structure there? Every one of those is just a little layer. So you've got to saturate every one of those layers in order to go deeper. So it just won't go in the ground. And that's fairly characteristic of windblown or lush soils. And that's what we have along the river here is uh, soils that the, the top blew up out of the river bottom at one time during glacial periods, the windblown lush. And because very, the particles are all pretty much the same size, very little particle size degradation. So they're segregation. So they'll, they'll, they'll make a crust like that very easily. Northwest Iowa has the same type of thing.